All right, so in this video, we're going to look at this set. This is the set of non-zero real numbers with the operation of multiplication. And we're going to uh, show uh, that uh, this set, so the set of non-zero reals together with the operation of multiplication is a group. Okay, we're going to do that. Uh, in this video, we're just going to um, talk about it, write some stuff down, and uh, hopefully, I'll go ahead and write proof. So that's going to force me to write uh, more down <laughs> than, uh, than I was planning, but it's good. Um, so you can see it all written down. So we want to show it's a group. So closure, let's just clearly identify everything we're doing as we go through the steps. So let's start with closure. So what does closure mean? So when we have a set, in this case, it's a set of non-zero real numbers, and we have an operation on that set, we want to see if the set is closed under that operation. What that basically means is, is, is this operation a binary operation on the set? In other words, given two elements in this set, when we multiply them, are we also going to get an element in that set? So take, let's just show it. So take, the answer is yes. Uh, so take any, um, let's use X and Y in this set here. This is, again, the set of non-zero real numbers, okay? Um, then X is not zero, and Y is not zero. Hence, the product is not zero. And we're going to come back to this. So X, Y is... A non-zero real number that's in this set. This is the contrapositive of another similar property. I just want to mention that. So if you have, I don't want to derail too much, but it's just it's a, it's a teachable moment. This is really cool. If you have x y equal to zero, okay, this implies uh, that x equals zero or y equals zero. This is one of the properties of uh, integral domains. If you study ring theory, okay, so. Whenever you have a product equal to zero like this, you have x equals zero, y equals zero. So the negation, uh, uh, rather the contrapositive of the statement, so if this is false, then this is false. So it would be if x is not zero, so if you negate, using basic mathematical logic, if you negate this, and that implies the negation of this, this is called the contrapositive. And that's exactly what we used here. Um, I just wanted to mention that. So. Right, so that shows closure. So let's go to associativity. Let's go back, get back on track. I have to uh, derail some time and talk about, you know, another piece of mathematics. Um, associativity is going to be easy because these are real numbers. So uh, the elements here are going to be associative. Uh, the, rather, the operation is associative. Uh, there's no issues because multiplication of real numbers is associative, but we can write it down. So we can say for all x, y, z in this set here, we have uh, we have we have associativity. We have x, y. I'm not going to write the operation. We'll just assume it's multiplication. Z is the same thing as x, y, z. Since x, y, z are real numbers, right? So, and we have associativity of multiplication of real numbers. That's something we can use. Uh, so, we're looking at a specific case, right? At the case where we have non-zero real numbers, so we can just invoke what we know about the real numbers. Uh, not not something that uh, we have to uh, go through. We get to use that. Uh, the identity element uh, is going to be uh, the number one. Okay, it's going to be the number one, the identity element. So let's go ahead and uh, write that down. So identity, whoops, there's my pen. I need to fix my pen. Someday I will fix it. It basically scrolls sometimes. It's a really old pen. It has like a button. If you press the button, it moves. It's really... <laughs> So uh, we said one is the identity, so um, note uh, one is in this set because it's not zero, right? One is not equal to zero, so it's a non-zero real number. And 
for all x in this set, we know if you do 1 times x, you get x. And um, x times 1, you get x. So e is equal to 1. So this is going to be the identity, right? You have this element that satisfies this property for all x. Uh, then you say it's the identity. And then inverses, this is where the fact, uh, this is where the non-zero comes into play, right? So I probably should have said that earlier, but uh, I guess we weren't really thinking about that specific thing. But this is what allows it to be a, a group. Because if you look at just the real numbers under multiplication, um, that's not going to be a group. Uh, because of zero. So because we're throwing away zero, that allows us to um, to create this group. So let's let's find the inverse for any element. So for any x, for any x in this set here, we have we have that x is not zero, right? X is not equal to zero. So one over x, it makes sense and it's also not equal to zero so it's a non-zero real number right so because it's not zero you can say one over x is a number and um it's a real number <clears throat> and obviously it's not zero otherwise one would be zero right so it's you know not zero and then it's in this set so it's a non-zero real number then if you multiply x times one over x you're going to get one and one over x times x you're going to get one right you'll get one in any case um so one over x is the inverse of x so every element has an inverse because we said for any x right so by the way one over x can be written as x inverse so in the notation of group theory like when you study group theory that's how you write it like generically, if you just had a group and you had x, the inverse would be x inverse, right? Uh, using multiplicative notation, using additive notation, you would use minus x. In any case, we have shown that um, this is a group under uh, multiplication. We have closure, we have associativity. We showed the existence of an identity element. Uh, and we show that uh, every single uh, non-zero real number uh, has an inverse and so yeah just a simple uh, proof that hopefully after watching this video you you know something about groups so that's uh, this is how you show that something is a group until next time keep doing mathematics and yeah I hope it's been helpful take care